In our fourth and final installment of our series dedicated to cancer and lupus awareness, today we speak with one of our younger members who knows all too well the pain of losing a parent and other family members to cancer. Today, we invite you to listen in as he shares his account and also his story of his own personal fight. Good morning, everyone. (laughs) My name is James. Um, I'm here because I want to share my story with everyone. Um, This month is uh, Cancer Awareness Month, and um, I'm here because I want to share my testimony. So, first off, I want to say I never had cancer, but I was on the road to cancer. Um, So last year, um, in the midst of taking care of my grandfather, because he had cancer, uh, I had an aunt that was warning me, God was telling her that, hey, you need to go see a geography doctor because something is wrong. I asked her, you know, what was wrong? She couldn't tell me, but something was telling her, you know, in her spirit to tell me to go see a geography doctor. I'm like, all right. Mind you at the time, you know, I didn't feel anything wrong with my body. I didn't see any symptoms or feel any symptoms. Like, you know, felt like I was, you know, healthy as a horse. So I had no reason to go see a GI doctor. Cause in order to do, you know, see them, you need a referral. So out of nowhere, I caught this stomach virus with, you know, messing with my digestion. And that was a good enough reason to go see a GI doctor. So my primary care gave me a referral and went to go see a GI doctor. So he did a procedure, the colonoscopy. And when I woke up from the procedure, he told me, you know, this is bad. I'm like, what's wrong? What can possibly be wrong? Like, I'm, you know, ain't nothing wrong with me. He showed me the pictures um, that they took and he told me that look like I have a rare disease called FAP. I'm like, what is that? FAP is a disease that causes um, polyps to grow throughout your entire colon. And I'm not talking about one, two, three, four, five polyps. It was a hundred plus polyps. So imagine like you have a skin rash on your skin. Imagine that throughout your entire colon. Polyps of all shapes and sizes. So I asked him, okay, so what's the treatment for this? So the only solution to this situation is to, I have to get my whole colon removed because even if he does go in to start removing polyps, they're going to grow back um, at a fast rate and I'm still 100% uh, of getting colon cancer in my 30s. So that was the only option for me. I was like, okay, fine. So after my grandfather passed away, um, I went on and had the surgery done. Um, December 12th, I had the surgery. Uh, I was supposed to have one surgery, but that one turned into three because something went wrong with the first one. Um, when they made the connections, connecting my uh, rectum, my small intestine together, that connection broke somehow and caused me to have a real bad infection. So after that happened, I had they w- did emergency surgery to go back in to fix the problem. And uh, I also had to get an ostomy bag for two months for the connections to heal properly. So I had, um, so I got that done. Then in February, um, they reversed it back. In that situation alone, that was a blessing. Well, the whole thing is a blessing, but the whole that situation, the blessing, they were able to reverse it because this is there is people out there that with this condition, um, the ostomy bag was non reversible. So for me, it's like that was a blessing all of its own. So um, I had that done. Then you know, once all the surgery was done, I was um, good to go. So uh, I just want to, you know, just let people know, go get checked out. Uh, if you feel anything wrong with your body, if you had, you know, you've had stomach problems constantly, not just for a week, like if, you know, it's lasting several weeks, that's a sign that you need to go see a doctor. Because, you know, that's a possibility of, you know, polyps growing or cancer in some way, shape or form. Um, mind you that, you know, my mom had cancer 
And last year, most of you know, my grandfather, my uncle had cancer and they, you know, all passed away. So it shows me that, you know, God protect his people. It shows me that, you know, God is a healer. And it shows me that, um, you know, God just, you know, he loves me. So and also, I just want to thank you. Um, just want to just thank God for, you know, people that helped me to get through that situation because that was the most, it was a rough, rough um, situation for those three months. That was the toughest thing I've ever been through. So, you know, God brought people in my life to, you know, help me get through that. So I also want to just thank God for, um, thank God for them to help me get through it. Because it kind of felt like I wasn't going to get through it, but I made it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just wanted to say, if you have family history, go get that checked out. And um, if, you know, find out if you do have family history, you know how to treat it because then. Especially with cancer, the earlier you catch, the more treatable it is. But uh, I just want to say that uh, and continue to be blessed. And God bless you all. And see you later. <laughs>